Onesans versus Emotos. A timeless debate that has divided the weeb community into warring factions of degeneracy. However, we have seen this before. Matters of taste have always been a point of contention. Like Pepsi versus Coke, Dub versus Sub, Cats versus Dogs, Anime versus Hentai. However, the importance of these debates pale in comparison to this one. For everyone watching this video, no longer will you have to live your life in perpetual angst and confusion. I'm here today to settle this once and for all. It's time to pick a side, Onesan or Emoto. First, I'll let you know that in preparation for this video, I conducted over 10,000 hours of meticulous research. I went to places no man should go, but science demanded answers. So I scoured the internet in an attempt to find any possible answer to this incredulous debate. And let me just say, the results are shocking. Here is my magnum opus. Here is my published theory that will influence generations to come. Now I'll begin by comparing the advantages and disadvantages of each side. Let's begin with the Onesan. And look at that. No surprise, she's already asserting her dominance with a lusty gaze that'll make you toss your body pillow to the side, thick thighs that are powerful enough to crush a human skull, massive opi that in times of emergency can be used as a flotation device, hands with caring yet assertive grip. Onesans are much easier to explain to your lawyer. Now the importance of this factor cannot be overstated. Okay, based on the totality of the evidence, I think Onesans make a compelling argument, but we have to look at the other side. Let's see what Emotos have to offer. Ooh, you hate to see that. 